Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Just a bit of a, I guess a show and tell video for you guys. What I'm gonna be doing is going over this mobile test rig that myself and a buddy put together. And I'm gonna show the specs and details and sort of explain why I have this. So full disclosure, about two weeks ago, I was looking for another GPU to add to one of my mining rigs. I was scammed on a GPU that didn't work. So this was a 1080. I went, I saw it, I didn't have a test rig on me and he was meeting me in a public location and all that, you know, stuff you gotta watch out for. Got it home and the GPU doesn't work. I messaged the guy, he ignored me. Turns out he's a pretty big scammer on Kijiji. When I say a big scammer, I mean, it's not that he's doing a lot of scamming. It's that the only thing he does is scamming. He's just some dumb kid. And you know, there might be a video on that scammer coming later on because I do have all of his information and everything. Anyways, that prompted me to put together a test rig. This test rig is made out of very cheap old parts or just new parts that were very cheap or stuff I had laying around. We'll get right into it. This is a motherboard, an old one that one of my buddies had. This motherboard is, show you right here. This is an Intel DQ67SW with PCI 2.0. This is from a long time ago, 2011 is when the BIOS was updated. If we look here, you'll see this was a first quarter of 2011. So this is over 10 years old now. And this was like an executive series board. It still works, no problem. So mated with that, we have an Intel Core i7-2600, also from first quarter of 2011, now discontinued. It is a four core, eight thread, 3.4 gig, and the TDP is 95 watts on that. So if you see here, it should be the same thing in CPU-Z. There you go, all those details. Again, this is a great use for old PC components that aren't useful for other stuff. So while you could game on this on a low end gaming rig, this is a really good use for this stuff. And this was all pretty cheap. I'll go over the prices here at the end. The RAM, I don't have any uh, specs for up on the page, but this is just four sticks, two gigs a piece of DDR3. And we'll pull that up here on CPU-Z. See, DDR3. Sorry, that's not focusing great. Uh, next thing is the hard drive. So this is a Kingston, a very old Kingston 64 gig SSD. Sorry about the ringing, that's my dog asking to be let outside. This is a very old Kingston. I'll pull that up here. And as you can see here from when it was first reviewed, this is 11 years old now. And this was a entry level SSD 11 years ago. Hold on a sec, gotta let my dog out. Okay, getting back to that. Anyways, quick little thing while we're here. This was just an AliExpress $1 or $2 power plug. This just plugs into your power connection. So instead of having to jump something and jump these two pins, I can just press this. I have these on my mining rigs as well. The um, power supply. This is a very cheap Cooler Master Elite 600 watt V3. This is only an 80 plus bronze power supply because this rig is really only gonna run for maybe a few hours every month just to test GPUs. I got this based on price. I got this for uh, very cheap. It was an open box at uh, the local Memory Express. So that's why I picked that one up. What else? I should talk about this screen. So this test rig is designed to be fully enclosed in this case. This was just a $20 case my buddy had and we took the left, left off of it, the top off of it, the right side off of it, and then we cut this part here. I just put some tape here so it's not jagged. I also put a little bumper in here so that the motherboard plate is you know, flat, not having this corner uh, sag under the weight. We removed a few of these panels here so that uh, different size graphics cards could fit in here. And then we just have the dual PCI connections here off the power supply for whatever video card we're gonna be testing. So this screen, I should talk about this. It's this, I should not be using this screen to show you this. Aside from the fact the resolution's better so you can see a bit more, but this was not designed to use an external screen. I bought this screen on Amazon Canada. I actually have one with my mining rig as well. One of my mining rigs has this, but this display is does not need an external power. This is simply powered with a micro USB, and then the video signal is an HDMI and it plugs in here. Only reason this isn't working right now is because they don't have the cable. This executive motherboard only has, this has two different DVI outputs, no VGA, and then DisplayPort. There's no HDMI, there's nothing else. This only has those video outputs. And this monitor, the signal has to come via HDMI. There's no DisplayPort option, there's no VGA option, nothing like that. This monitor here, this Dell P2014, I think, has a DisplayPort input. So that's the only reason we're running this uh, this display port cable to here. The other thing we should talk about is what we run with this. So we're gonna be running to test GPUs. We run Furmark. 
So whenever I install a graphics card here, I will then install its own driver and then run Furmark. The only thing else that's special about this rig is this is running a very toned down version of Windows 10. Uh, there is nothing on this, as you can see. There's no, there's no Windows Defender. There's no anything. There's a Windows 7 start bar because nothing works on the Windows 10 start bar. There's no, like it doesn't communicate with the internet at all. And this is great for testing. Anyways, for those of you who are looking for GPUs from private sellers, I strongly recommend you putting together a test rig so you don't get scammed like I did. I'm out several hundred dollars because of being scammed for a GPU that didn't work. And the amount I'm out is more than it costs to put this together. So let's go over some prices here. We'll break this out. I believe the motherboard and processor were, let's just say $65. It was $20 for the RAM. It was $65 retail for the power supply. Hard drive was free. The case was $20. The cable that I'm getting to go from display port to a HDMI, $10. And then if you do want this screen mounted in here, we'll say $70. That's it, that's everything. For $250, that's Canadian. So you could probably do this for 200 US or less. For $250 Canadian or probably under $200 US, you can have a fully functional test rig. Anyways, I've rambled on long enough. Definitely consider making your own test rig because this is gonna save you a ton of hassle, especially dealing with these shitty, scammy, local classified sellers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Build it cheap, make it work, make sure your GPUs you're buying are in good shape, stress test them, benchmark them, pay for them, and don't get screwed over like I did. Anyways, like I said earlier, Leave any questions you have in the comments. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, any likes and subscriptions really help the channel out. So, you know, please consider subscribing. And that's it. Hope you all have a good day. Take care.